the Greenlee Gator EK425 uh, crimping and cutting tool. Uh, in this specific application, we're going to demonstrate how this tool can be used to cut through safety seals. Uh, specifically, this one is from Tyden Brooks, uh, and we'll show how that works here in a second. But first and foremost, I wanted to walk through a couple safety applications. Whenever you're handling the tool, whenever your hand is near the jaw or whether it's uh, up near the uh, spring pin jaw engagement, you always want to have the battery off of the tool, um, just from a safety perspective. Uh, the other aspect of what's going on with this tool is uh, what's going on back here with the Green League Gator Information Center. Uh, there's buttons on either side of this screen, and this screen is uh, ultimately telling you what's happening with the tool. So if you get an audible or a visual alert with some blinking lights or some sound, uh, that is ultimately like a, a buzzer coming from the tool, this is going to tell you what's going on. It talks about service, uh, service maintenance schedules, it talks about the firmware, it talks about the serial number of this specific tool. So there's all sorts of information that's going to be in the back of that product. The button on the back of the tool is the release valve. So that would be a situation where you get the tool uh, hung up on something and you can't get it off by cycling it all the way through. You would simply push on the relief valve and that will open up the jaws. On the front of the tool, this is the trigger, uh, and this trigger, it, this tool is a one trigger application. So ultimately you hold the trigger down through the entire cycle of the tool. The tool will get to a peak pressure and it'll understand when the jaw needs to release and open up. And it's usually, almost always, uh, after the job is done and after you're cutting through something. If you're cutting through something too hard, the tool will recognize that and it will automatically open up when it bypasses the nominal pressure that this tool is set for. So it's kind of like a safety valve uh, to make sure that nothing happens to the tool. But the tool will automatically do that. And uh, we'll simulate that here in a second. The tool does have a rotating head of 350 degrees. So it gets you into some tight applications. Uh, overall, the tool with battery is 6.6 .6 pounds. It's one of the lightest tools in the industry. Uh, it's very ergonomic. So. Uh, in terms of what the force that it can create in the, the materials that it can cut through, coming in with a tool that's 6.6 .6 pounds is a really, really good ergonomic story. Okay, up to the top of the tool. Um, ultimately, when you're going to be putting the jaw in the tool, like I said, the battery should be out of the tool to make sure that your fingers aren't, in, aren't around any moving parts. But the tool has a spring pin engagement. And ultimately, when you want to open the tool, it's push in, turn counterclockwise, and let the, jaw, the pin come out. You always want to make it sure it's all the way out or all the way in. And that's the really nice feature of this tool that allows you to make sure when the pin is in, it's all the way in. You do not want to engage the tool uh, when it's not fully secured. It'll bend the fork completely over. So that's a nice safety feature as well. The jaw, specifically, uh, is made for cutting one-time locks and bolts. And it really works well with the Tidenbrook safety seals. Uh, so we'll do a, a demonstration. We'll put the battery on the tool and we'll cut through a safety seal. Now we're ready to do a demonstration with the Tidenbrook safety seal. You always want to make sure that you have your glass safety glasses on. You want to be sure that you're wearing gloves with the uh, when you're doing a demo or whether you're actually carrying out the job in the field. But ultimately, a safety seal is going to go on the back of a uh, semi-truck. And it's going to have that uh, locking mechanism that makes sure that it can't be tampered with. So made of soft steel, uh, this, this safety seal is going to go in a vertical orientation, up and down, or could, I guess you could be in a, in a horizontal, but most likely in a vertical application. And so the tool will be addressing the safety seal in this format. So the safety seal will be here. The jaws will ultimately wrap around that safety seal with that very short profile. Uh, you do want to make sure that whenever you're cutting into a hard material like this, there's a lot of energy that's going to be uh, released. So these jaws work in a, um, basically a uh, it's not a scissor application. It's going to be a snap configuration. So you want to make sure that you keep your face and hands away from the jaw as it's, as it's doing its job. But what we'll do now is we're going to basically run this tool up so I can get that seal uh, seated in the jaw where it won't fall out, and then I'm going to move my hand, and then we'll carry out the demonstration. Okay, 
Now I've got it in the jaw, and ultimately I want to stay back. I do not want to have my face anywhere near uh, the top end of this or the bottom end of that, and we'll carry out the demonstration. So there it is, the Greenlee Gator uh, high-security seal bolt cutter.